Matt Perns, welcome back. Today we're looking at how you can install GeoServer on Windows, and it's fast. GeoServer is a great piece of kit, and it's a Java-based server that will allow users to view and edit geospatial data. It's free and it's open source software, and there is a great developer community surrounding it. So do have a look on the website at how you could get involved with contributing to the project. Now we can use GeoServer to create web map services, web feature services. We can connect it directly to spatial databases. You can also access the data direct from your GIS desktop. So we can do all sorts with it. This video is about how we can install it and get a local version running. And that's what you'll be able to do by the end of this tutorial. So from the main website, you can see a download tab and that's what I'm gonna go for. So I'll click on download. And if you're not sure which version to install, I would always recommend going for the stable version. So I'm gonna click on this. And we have a number of different packages that we could install. Now I'm gonna go for the platform independent binary because this will get us started very quickly on our Windows machine. So if I click on here, it should take me through to SourceForge and my download will begin. So here's the download window. I'll just OK to save this file and then choose a location to save it to. So I'm going to put it on local disk C into demo and I've made a little folder here called GeoServer install. That's what the file looks like, a little zip file. So I will save that and off it goes. Once the file is downloaded, I am in Firefox here, so I can go up to this little download arrow and open up the folder that contains my download. Here's the GeoServer zip, and I would like to unzip this to a specific location. So I'll right click on it, and then I'm going to go to Extract All, and I'm not going to extract it to the folder that it's currently in. I'm going to browse to put it somewhere else, and I'm going to go with my C drive, and then I'll make a new folder in here, and I'm gonna call this one GeoServer. Makes sense, right? Good. So let us select that folder and extract everything. Thanks for making it this far into the video, and don't forget this video is just about installing GeoServer. If you'd like to improve your GeoServer skills, there are a number of really good courses out there. Check this one out in the card on your screen now. It's by Dimitri from Geo University. So have a click on that and see what you think. Once that's complete, you should be able to see the files that have extracted and that'll be in local disk C and this GeoServer folder that I made. So these are all the files we need to run GeoServer. Now we're almost ready to run GeoServer on our machine. But one thing that you do need to check first is do you have Java installed? As you can see from the GeoServer documentation, which I do suggest you read, always read the docs, GeoServer requires Java 8 or Java 11 JRE to be installed on your system. So you can get it from these links and you can install it there. If you're not sure whether or not you have Java Runtime Environment installed on your machine, you can hit your Windows key and then type CMD, which will open up a command prompt. So just click on that. And then if you type Java and version, you should get some information about what version of Java your machine is running. If you don't have anything, if it says that Java can't be found or the command is not found, then you may need to install Java on your machine. So head on over to the GeoServer docs and follow the links accordingly. So I have Java installed and I've also downloaded the GeoServer zip and I'm in the folder where I unzipped GeoServer 2. And if I go into the bin folder, then I can see startup bat. And if I double click this, it's going to open up a command prompt and you'll see lots of things fly past the screen. I'm going to allow this publisher to run software. That is fine. And off we go. You'll see lots of things happening while GeoServer is being set up on the local machine. I said previously that there are a couple of good GeoServer courses that I've checked out, and the other one is by Mike Miller. So if you want to check that out, then have a look at the card above, and you can go and sign up for that course on Udemy. 
And this is the magic message that we are looking for. So the server main has been started and that's how many milliseconds it took. Now I'm just gonna scroll up to the top here. You can see that the opening message says that Java home environment variable is not defined. No need to worry about that for mine. It has worked anywhere. It's used the system Java, but I will show you how to set that environment variable at the end of the video. But for now, everything appears to be working and we can test that by going back to the browser. So here I am again in Firefox and I'm gonna type in localhost and we would like port 8080 and then give it a forward slash and go for GeoServer. I'll hit enter. And after a brief period, you should see the GeoServer front page open up. Fantastic. So with a new install of GeoServer operating on your local machine or on a remote machine as well, the default username is admin and the default password is GeoServer. So you can put those in, hit login, and you will be inside the GeoServer. Notice that it says the master password and the administrator password for the server should be changed. So you should do that if you are security conscious at all. And then you are ready to start working with GeoServer. If you'd like to stop GeoServer on your local machine, it couldn't be easier. I'm just going to bring up that CMD. And if I close this down, that will stop our GeoServer. If I try and reload it now, we should find that it cannot be found. There we go, problem loading page because I have stopped the server. Now let's take a look at how we can set that Java home path. So if I hit the Windows key again, I'm just going to type control panel, bring control panel up, and then I'm going to go into system. And this is where we can set environment variables. So if you are having difficulty with Java or Java can't be found, this is where you need to come. And up at the top, I will type in env, and that will allow me to edit the system environment variables. That is good. Down here, you can see in the system properties, we have got environment variables there. So I'll enter into that. These are the variables for me, for my user, and these are the system-wide variables. So anybody can access the system-wide ones. Now I'd like to create a new variable. I'm going to call this one java underscore home and then I'm going to look for a specific directory. So I'll browse for the directory. Now I've installed Java on this PC. So let's have a look in this PC and into the C drive. And if I go down to program files, I should find down here, that I've got Java, there it is. And it's Java, Java runtime environment 1.8. So I'll highlight that folder and OK that. And that is where Windows is going to look for my Java installation. So if any program requires it, like GeoServer, for example, it's going to look in that directory. So I'll OK that, OK that, OK that, and close that and that. So with my Java home set, I'm going to run that startup bat again to start the GeoServer on my local machine. So I'll double click that going to allow that to run and you can see this time the message to begin with says welcome to GeoServer and it says where my Java home is and that's all working fine. So if you do have any problems with Java do post in the comments below. I'd like to do a video on how to get this set up remotely as well so that we can have an accessible GeoServer to the wide world. If you'd like to see that please don't forget to caress that like button and turn it blue. Other than that, uh, thanks very much for watching and happy mapping. Don't forget to subscribe.